Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. You are in for a treat. The iconic Frank Miller, director, writer, Sin City 2. Frank, can you talk a little bit about, I mean, you're such a, an iconic, esteemed artist. The transition to directing, how creatively fulfilling is that as opposed to just drawing and writing? Well, it's absolutely wonderful um, because I, I, I adore cartooning. I mean, and I, I do adore doing my comic books. Um, but it's very solitary work, and, and much as I enjoy solitude, um, it does get a little lonely. And and getting involved in a film is getting involved in in a in a circus of people, um, from from the from the um, the excellent crew to the to the the, the brilliant cast. Um, I I just have fun with all of them, and um, I I learn a lot from them. And working with Robert is, is, is a real joy because he is a perfect partner in that kind of And the film is so stylized to a throwback to those great 1940 noir-type yeah. movies. Sure. How influenced were you by them when you were initially drawing it? And then as directing, was there a particular homage to anything? Well, um, certainly. There's a, there was an homage. Um, there's so many homages that, that you couldn't count them all. The, uh, <coughs> I um, um, decided when I was six years old that I would do comic books for the rest of my life. And then I turned 12 and discovered things like girls and, and lost interest in the juvenile storylines that were being published at the time. And so I kept drawing, but I fell in love with, 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 with crime novels, you know, like Mickey Stolain and Raymond Chandler. And uh, then uh, uh, the two loves merged, and I started doing crime comics. Well, I, um, being a, a you know a conceited young kid from the country, I moved to New York and decided to do crime comics, um, only to be told to go home and forget about it because they didn't publish them, and all they did was to got guys in tights. So I had to learn how to do guys in tights, but I kept putting them in crime stories, and and. Uh, then I got enough to know the ride, enough freedom, um, came to work with, with um, an excellent publisher, uh, Dark Horse Comics in, in Oregon. And, and, and uh, they, they uh, um, was able to write me a ticket and sat down after um, a, kind of, a kind of a rough uh, period being a screenwriter uh, and decided that I, that I would, I would do the comic book I always wanted to do and it would be impossible to ever turn into a movie. And it was Sin City, and I thought it was impossible to turn into a movie. You were but wrong. This, you were wrong. Then this crazy Texan shows up and shows me how. And just a last question for you. When you see this movie, it is really visually stimulating, but you didn't have anything on set. There were no real sets, per se, in props and everything else. For you, it was that an engaging process, or was it frustrating at times not to have everything? It was wonderful. Um, the, the, the parts that I had in order to draw on, um, I drew, and I included all the stuff. I included the, you know, the, the chain link fences and the buildings and, and all of that. I knew they'd be there, um, but uh, what we got was, we, was the actors able to focus entirely on the performances. And, and uh, so if an actor didn't touch it, it didn't exist. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Jessica Alba definitely was carrying that crossbow and, 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 and so on. And all the guns are held by real people, um, held by the real people. Um, but, but it was, it was um, but I, I knew that, that what Robert was doing was taking my drawings as, as, as a starting point for, for the um, visual effects. For the Sin City 3? Sin City 3, I will. It's, it's, we are raring to go. We were right after the first one, but things got in the way. Um, you know, uh, the thing with the lawyers and financiers and studio changes and so on. Um, Sin City 3, I've got essentially plotted, um, but it's all in my head, so you guys see the second one first. So this is the valuable thing right here. This is everything for Sin City 3. Frank, I cannot thank you enough. Oh, Congratulations. It was a terrific pleasure. movie. And Thank this is you. Scott Orland. Till next time. Thanks a lot.